my dearest Hannah. The shocking twist ending in the Dexter New Blood finale was inevitable, we explain why and how this sets up story arcs for a possible season 2. Dexter's story comes to a close, here's a look at why that final shocking moment had to happen, the meaning of Dexter's final monologue, and how Dexter New Blood's ending sets up season 2 for Harrison. What Dexter's letter to Hannah really means, as Harrison drives out of town, he looks at the letter that Dexter had written to Hannah before her death after Dexter's season 8 finale, which is what prompted Harrison to find Dexter in the first place. While Harrison explained in Dexter New Blood episode 2 that Dexter's letter mentioned that Hannah should contact him if Harrison has any dark tendencies, New Blood's finale episode explains the letter had much more to it. In the letter, Dexter explains that Harrison will always be his phantom limb and he loves him dearly but can't bear to pass on the darkness that has already caused so much death and tragedy in their lives. This is the most difficult letter I'll ever write. He begs Hannah to continue letting Harrison think he died in the hurricane because it's better off this way, Dexter wanted to die, but miraculously survived. Let me die so my son can live is how Dexter ends the letter, meaning that Dexter knew Blood's Harrison will never be able to live a normal life as his own man while stuck on the legacy of his father. Nearly everyone who Dexter loved in the original series died because of his actions, which would always mark a sense of doom for Harrison. Dexter leaving in the season 8 finale was meant to give Harrison a chance at a real life untainted by Dexter's sins and his tendency to attract death and tragedy. Harrison now has a shot at a life that isn't motivated by or held back by his father, their relationship, betrayals, and trauma. Everything that Harrison does now is about the man that he chooses to be. Every single day you stayed away for 10 years! Harrison can still hold on to the good memories of Dexter as a parent while letting go of the death, tragedy, and vile actions he caused, which is all Dexter really wanted for his son. No. Dexter New Blood's ending sees a smiling Harrison ride off out of Iron Lake in his father's truck, heading to an undisclosed location with an undisclosed future. Harrison's smile isn't malicious for having just killed his father, however it's a smile of relief that his father loved him enough to let him kill him and finally have closure, and Harrison can now lead whatever life he wants that isn't necessarily led by his father's legacy or actions. But, Harrison did learn the code and does still have his own dark tendencies, suggesting he could continue such a life in the future. It's possible that Harrison is heading down to Miami, which could mean a season in which he reconnects with his half-siblings Astor and Cody Bennett, as well as possibly connecting with Dexter's old co-workers at Miami Metro. If Harrison doesn't follow in Dexter's footsteps as a killer, he may follow in the footsteps of another family member who had a profound impact on his life, his Aunt Deb. It would make sense if Harrison took his lessons from his father and became either a forensic analyst or a policeman like Deb, but so far it's unknown what will become of Harrison after Dexter's death. It's also possible that Dexter New Blood Season 2 could see the return of Michael C. Hall as Dexter, with the deceased serial killer possibly returning as Harrison's own manifestation of his conscience, similar to what Deb and Harry were to Dexter. The Dexter New Blood finale episode also left one major question, will Dexter be confirmed as the Bay Harbor Butcher? The evidence against Dexter that Angela had for him against killing Matt Cadwell and being the Bay Harbor Butcher likely wouldn't have held up in court, especially since Dexter made sure to plant more evidence against James Dokes in Dexter Season 7 when Maria Lagarda was catching on to him. The only major evidence that Angela had against Dexter as the Bay Harbor Butcher was the ketamine connection, which is actually a retcon of Dexter's original M99 drug. Dexter knew blood also ended with Angel Batista coming up to Iron Lake, but he was never actually seen again, so it's unclear what his role would be in confirming Dexter as the Bay Harbor Butcher. Go through town, just past the truck stop is the entrance to I-86 West. New Blood Season 2 is set up with the idea that Dexter still isn't completely confirmed as the Bay Harbor Butcher, while Harrison's future without his father is ambiguous. If anything to see you and Harrison again. 